In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to view the responses to the survey you send out in Microsoft Forms. So what you'll do is um, you'll obviously be coming back to the form later on. So you're going to need to log back into Office 365 at office.com. And then you're going to select the Forms app. OK, so once you're in here, you're going to be seeing all of the forms that you've created. Some of them might be quizzes. Uh, and you can see this is the student survey I was working on. Now, I haven't sent this out yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually um, show you a different form that has uh, responses. But basically, you'll click into the name of your form. And it will load up just like you've seen before, where you um, have the capability of modifying your questions. But at the right here, you'll see a tab called Responses, and then you'll have a number next to it. That's how many um, users have responded to your, your survey. So you're going to click in here, and uh, you're going to scroll down, and you're going to see each question. So here's question one. This is the names. Now, what, what I'm seeing here is a snapshot, of a summary, if you will, of the responses. And you'll see... Depending on the question type, um, you might get a little graph that summarizes um, all the responses. But if you wanted to see um, every single response um, by each person, you can click here on more details. And when you click more details, you're going to see the whole list of folks and what they answered. Um, in this case, we have a pie graph, and with this question, it was kind of asking, it was a multiple choice question, so there was a yes, no, or maybe, and by mousing over these, I can get more information. I can see the percentage of those responders um, and also the number. Uh, this question here um, was actually a uh, Likert scale type question. And so I can see here in a snapshot um, how this all ranked out based on their responses. But again, I can also always click on more details here and I can see um, exactly how each person responded. In this case, this was an anonymous survey. I did not, it did not require them to sign in and, and so it did not collect their names. But if you did require um, the, the sign-in uh, and you required the name, then you would see the name of your respondents right there. Um, another thing you'll be able to see or you'll, you'll be able to do with this is export all of the data to Excel. You can click right here and you can open an Excel and back this up, keep it, store it wherever you want, and you'll have a spreadsheet of all the responses. Another option here is the View Results button. When you go to View Results, you're going to see per person how they answered each question. So this is like uh, the first respondent and all of the um, how they answered all five of these questions. Okay. So that's all there, and then I can just click here next and go to the next user and go through and see their responses. And I can back out of this. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Now you do have, this is kind of interesting, if you click here on this menu, you have some options like deleting all responses. Um, let's say you exported all this to Excel, and then you wanted to use the survey again with a new group of users, you could delete out the responses. Um, you can also print the uh, summary page, which is the page we're viewing. Um, and you can also create a summary link to send to a colleague or someone else that you want to share the data with. And that will send them a link to a view only version of this page, which is kind of nice. So that is how you view your results. All right. Thanks for watching.